communities defeat terror. That's a mantra often repeated by Britain's senior police officers. But under government budget cuts, neighbourhood policing teams are being slashed, and that means a major weapon in countering terrorism is being lost. That's according to a police leader who next week will urge the Home Secretary to merge some of Britain's 43 forces to save money and get more bobbies back on the beat. Well, one of the things we rely on uh, in, in countering terror is people in neighbourhoods actually recognising things that are a bit suspicious and having the confidence to come and tell the police about it. Now, if they haven't got a relationship with their local police, they see something a little suspicious, the chances are they wouldn't do anything about it and we might miss an opportunity to prevent an act of terrorism. Racist Pavlo Lapshin was caught through local policing in the West Midlands. After a series of mosque bombings and a random murder, officers showed these CCTV images to passers-by. One of them recognised Lapshin and told police where he was working. It's really important that people understand that counter-terrorism isn't just dealt with by uh, officers that are squirrelled away in, in regional homes, but actually it's dealt with by officers out on the street and they've got to build that confidence with their communities for the communities to come forward and talk to them. The message will be delivered to Home Secretary Theresa May at the Police Superintendents Association conference next week. But she's opposed to police force mergers unless they are voluntary and have local support. Make a hard decision and amalgamate police forces and deal with the implications of funding. That's the way to keep us safe. If you do that, you can afford to put money into enforcing our borders, you can afford to put money into counter-terrorism, and you can actually put more men and women back on the beat. That's what the public okay, wants. Thank you very much, sir. Right. Take let care. you get on your way. Sorry for stopping you. Not everyone supports police force mergers. Some communities fear that bigger, more remote forces may be tempted to shift resources from neighbourhoods with little understanding of their particular needs. Martin Brunt, Sky News.